this is the Lord stretching his hand against the people who have rejected the knowledge, man. Who has rejected his word. This is him turning his back on you. This is him destroying you. This here is gonna be a beautiful day, man, for the elect. To see the destruction of our enemy. Those who have kept us in oppression and persecuted us, man. You know, held us back and told us we were nothing. Stripped us of our identity, man. Mocked us, man. And put themselves up to be the, the, the true people. Took our land. Moved in there and said they were the Israelites. Brought us in cargo slave ships, man. Sitting on crowded ships, man. Brothers throwing up and shit and pissing on each other. Horrible conditions, man. Seeing to bring you in there and put you upon a cargo block and sell you and divide your families. Take you down to certain places and work the shit out of you. Beat your fucking back. Put scars on you for life. Rape your women. Rape your kids. Right there in front of you. You work all day and come home and he go in there and take your wife and pop her and then send her back. You raising Esau's baby. This right here, man, is the payback for all that, man. Thermonuclear destruction, man. Thus said the Lord of the Bible, man. You know? It says, verse 8 and 9, the mighty Lord Yahweh sin at the plagues and who is he that can drive them away a fire shall go forth from his wrath and who is he that may quench it right so if you know this is coming if you know this is coming if you are uh, negro latino or native american if you know this is coming these scriptures are telling you that this this is coming what what you supposed to be doing this is what you're supposed to be doing. This is Jeremiah. Four. You know these, these, these plagues are coming. You should be doing this. This is Jeremiah 4, chapter 4 and 4. And it says, Circumcise yourselves to the Lord Yahweh and take away the foreskin of your heart. Your heart is the Hebrew word lie, meaning your mind. He's telling you to circumcise your mind, man. Come back to him, man. Come back to these laws, statutes, commandments. Come back to having faith. Because one of the commandments uh, of the covenant, when we took the covenant, one oath of that covenant was to circumcise, to physically circumcise the foreskin of your penis. But the Lord is saying, circumcise the foreskin of your mind come back to the law, statutes, and commandments. He says, circumcise yourself to the Lord Yahweh. Take away the foreskin of your heart, ye men of Judah and the inhabitants of Jerusalem. Now, I'm going to look that word up, circumcise. I'm going to look that up. Uh, it says, Jeremiah Jeremiah 4 4 the word circumcised the Hebrew word uh, mawa, mawa mawa it says to be circumcised let one be circumcised cut to be cut off to circumcise oneself to cause to be circumcised of destruction, vigority, strong to cut short, that is, curtail especially by implication to blunt, vigority to destroy, circumcise, cut down into pieces, destroy. So, the old way of thinking, you must change that old way of thinking, man. And come back to this, this doctrine, the doctrine of truth. That's circumcising your heart, man. You know? He said, you men of Judah, man, you inhabitants of Jerusalem. 
It didn't say it didn't have nothing to say about Moab. It didn't say nothing about Ammon. This is about Israel, man. The Israelites, man. We read in Isaiah 44, the Lord said, Israel, you are my chosen. This is for the nation of Israel, man. The Negroes, the Latinos, and the Native Americans. It says, circumcise yourselves to the Lord Yahweh and take away the foreskin of your heart. Ye men, ye men of Judah. And it says, inhabitants of Jerusalem, least my fury come forth like fire and burn that. None can quench it because of the evil of your doings. So the Lord said, take away that evil in your heart, man. Even when you have, when you have, when you look at it, when you have a, a, a guy who, whose uh, penis is not circumcised, what's going on, that extra skin, it, it brings what? Disease, right? It brings disease, man. It causes infection. So that foreskin of our heart, circumcise the foreskin of your heart, get rid of, get rid of those other doctrines that you learn. Those other philosophies, because they bring disease on you, man. They bring un unclean and defiled spirits on you. You must circumcise that foreskin in your mind, man. Come back to this real truth, man. Come back to the truth. The real doctor. You know? Back in 2nd Ezra, 16. Back in 16 and 10. It says, He shall cast lightning, and who shall not fear? Question. He shall thunder, and who shall not be afraid? Question. Because these lasers are getting ready to be shot from these chariots, man. Also, you know, the Lord getting ready to bring straight disaster to the people, man. He gonna bring, he gonna be shooting them lasers out them chariots also. Cause all this is gonna be happening simultaneously, man. This all is gonna be happening at the same time. So it's gonna be great distress on these people, man. Uh, Deuteronomy 32, 32 and 23 says this. It says, I started 22, for a fire is kindled in my anger and shall burn unto the lowest hell and shall consume the earth with all her increase and set on fire the foundations of the mountains. So he's telling you that these nukes are gonna set this place on fire. Verse 23, I will heap mischief upon them. I will send my arrows upon them. They shall be burnt with hunger and, and devoured with burning heat and with bitter destruction. I will also send teeth of beasts upon them with poison of serpents and dust. The sword is without and terror within shall destroy both young men and the virgin, the suckling, also with the man of gray hair. So the Lord is getting ready to destroy old folks. He getting ready to destroy young folks. He gonna destroy babies. He gonna destroy them all. And I'm gonna edify that. This is another edification for that right here. Ezekiel 9. The scripture do tell you, woe unto them who uh who uh who basically have sucked it that day. Woe unto them who who uh be born kids, man nursing because it's going to be a rough time in that day this is Ezekiel 9 and 4 and the Lord Yahweh said unto him go through the midst of the city through the midst of Jerusalem and set a mark upon the foreheads of the men that sigh and cry for all the abominations that be done in the midst of so we're going through the midst of the city right we're going through the midst of Jerusalem the Negroes and Latinos and the Native Americans right it says go through the midst of Jerusalem and set that mark. And that word right there, that mark, is not Karabi. It's not the same mark that's in Revelation 13. This mark right here is the Wa, meaning exempt from judgment. So the mark that we set, we read this word, man. 
circumcising our minds, right? With this word, this is how we're going to be exempt from judgment. You know, it says, verse five, and to the others he said, in my hearing, go ye after him through the midst of the city and smite. Let not your eyes spare, neither have pity. So he telling them angels, don't have no pity, man. Slay utterly old and young. See, the scripture says slay utterly old and young. But you people out here, you think, oh, the Lord all love, he wouldn't kill no baby. The scripture says slay utterly old and young. Both maids and little children. So little children gonna get it too. Cause their ass is bad too, so they gonna get it. It says, little children and women, but come not near any man upon whom is the mark set, whom the mark, whom is the mark, meaning they're exempt from judgment. 